Hey guys, Rod Engine here bringing you another video, this time relating to the next map of the Black Ops 3 beta. It is called Hunted. I'm still sticking it with the, the Ruined uh, Specialist. I love the gravity spikes, and I'm still using the Man of War. It's doing me a lot of work, so I'm, re I'm really, really enjoying it. It kind of reminds me of the FAMAS with just a little less kick. Like I said, this game really reminds me of Black Ops 1, just like a next-gen model. But anyway, let's get to it. This map, I love the lines of sight. I feel like I haven't got to play yet. I've, I've seen uh, some of the people I like to watch off YouTube, like Next-Gen Tactics or NGT Zombies, whichever you like to. Big shout-out to those guys and uh, all the hard work they do over there. But I did watch them play a lot of Search, and this map was really, really great for Search. Like, up there to the left, there you can plant the bomb in there, and there's multiple flanks in there. Like, you can go into the water, there's three other flank routes, so if you have a team, it's really, really good for it. The other bomb plant is inside the where the waterfall is. It's a lot of, it's a really nice flank route for swimming underneath the bridge and getting on the other side. There's like a little tiny, like, waterhead glitch you can get in, so it's also very nice for that. Other than that, Team Deathmatch played really well. The spawns were really nicely balanced. Again, like I said, for beta, the spawns are fantastic so far. Hopefully, in the final build of the game, they keep it that way. As for assault rifles, I feel like this map would be really good for a dominant AR player. That's not me, as you can see. I, I go positive in this video, but I don't go like crazy like I normally would with a submachine gun. I think later on, I do pick up the CUDA and pick it up. That's what makes me, in my next video, I'll be talking about it, giving you a little bit of my opinion on it. But I love it. The is a really good gun, especially the Man of War. But as far as the map goes, there's a lot of, like, weird, like, running spots you can do for wall running that you wouldn't normally think of. Like, running on the rocks or running on that wall right there into the waterfall. Then you can dive down on the water and, and do, like, a sneaky little underwater, um, shoot them up. It's kind of hard to see if you're above the water. So, I mean, that's a neat, uh, sneaky little tactic you can do. Also, on, like, the wall running on the bridge, it's a really good common spot. But I've noticed when you run on the bridge, you're actually exposed from, and it's really hard to see. So, I wouldn't recommend it too much. But, I mean, if you're in a quick hurry, I mean, you need to get it from point A to point B, then you're going to run across that bridge. That way, you, you can get your kill. And as for score streaks for this map, I feel like... If you're a very, very above average player and you can get like the hater score streaks or hellstorm missiles and all that, it's really, really good for this map since it's mostly an open map with just the tunnel where you can plant the bomb or inside the house, of course. And I think you can even kill them if they're swimming in the water pretty easily. But other than that, I mean, I mean, mostly all the score streaks are really well designed for this map. I'm assuming that's how all of them go. Aw take a break for this video this guy stunned me I go in weak and I straight poop on this kid look at him look at that I mean I am straight dominating in this game I love it guys I'm positive overall but back to the impression of this, of this map as for colors goes around the outside of the map it's not very bland I mean the sky looks real all oh, you got all the background and all that and I just got pooped on and wasted my specialist abilities like a noob good job danger but back, to like, like the wall running and all that really works well for the map, as you've seen right there. When I slid in, killed that guy, and then come through with my, keep my momentum going, I slide and drop shot that guy. It's just really well, the mechanics of this. But as for visual fidelity, as you can see, the, the trees look really green, really, really crisp. They pop, so it makes them look really, really real. Where I'm not too, too big of, like, a PlayStation fanboy or a Xbox. I mean, I'm primarily an Xbox player. So I'm thinking about transitioning over because everything's going to PS4 first. So since I have every type of console or whatever, that way I can be in the mix of everything when it comes out first or I can jump on it. But I don't know per se. I'll let you know when I start uploading for the Xbox One if it looks better on Xbox One or PS4. If that, because most games like the, the foliage looks better on PS4. So like when, like the example, Metal Gear Solid 5 the rocks and like the rain and all that would look more have more atmosphere makes it more have more ambience in the map but overall it's like a black ops one mixed with the black ops two just with like 
overall better quality and like the specialist the, i'm really enjoying the specialist i'm gonna start tinkering around with more of them to see how they go i really really want to try the time glitch one because i think that would be really well thought out for like a search player which i'm a big search player because you could go in try to pick one route of the bomb you go in maybe get a kill or so realize there's too many you start to get shot and you warp back in time th up to I think it's three to five seconds i'm not sure i don't think anyone's done any hard numbers or crunch to figure it out yet it seems about three seconds though and then you time warp back three seconds come in a different route and maybe be able to win win the round maybe give your team the upper hand for a few rounds get that momentum going as with the movement system of the first map i know there's a lot of like hidden like where you wouldn't normally be able to go with like out of the wall boundaries. I didn't get to try it this too many times with this map because I was too focused on running around, seeing everything, getting into action. Because it's really fast paced for like a boots on ground COD. But when tomorrow hits, uh, as soon as I get home from work, I'm going to hop on, get that update so that way. I mean, I'm nowhere close to reaching the level cap. I think they're raising up to 34. And then... I'm really excited to get my hands on Uplink. That was like one of the best things Advanced Warfare brought over was Uplink, especially because I love watching competitive. It's so neat to watch all four players work together, passing that ball like globe trotters in the battlefield all the way to dunk that. Because how crazy would it be? Your wall running, you got to get that time glitch on or that speed warp, and you just run in and double slam that, or you get shot and you time warp backwards, or and then pass it to someone while you're time warping that'd be crazy just all the different things you could do at the right time just you got to learn how to use a specialist ability and then i'm excited to get a hands on a new map i'm hoping we get one to two more before the thing is i'm hoping they extend the beta to where they had so many matchmaking issues so we can get more hands on time with it either way i'll get about two weeks with it where i can play it on ps4 because my friend austin and then i'll be playing it on the xbox one with my friend mr do it and my friend marcus Anyway, guys, I guess that wraps it up for this map hunted. I hope you, uh, hope you give your first impressions on it. Look at that. Me leading the team, number one in the lobby, 1955 score. But anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Raw, raw dog out, guys.